اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم sequences. They're all around us. Day becomes night. Animals travel across the earth in ever-changing formations. Landscapes are constantly altering. One of the reasons mathematics began was because we needed to find a way of making sense of these natural patterns. The most basic concepts of maths, space and quantity, are hardwired into our brains. Even animals have a sense of distance and number, assessing when their pack is outnumbered and whether to fight or fly, calculating whether their prey is within strike and majestic symbol of Egyptian mathematics we haven't attempted to unravel yet, the pyramid. I've seen so many pictures that I couldn't believe I'd be impressed by them. But meeting them face to face you understand why they're called one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. They're simply breathtaking. And how much more impressive they must have been in their day, when the sides were as smooth as glass, reflecting the desert sun. To me, it looks like there might be mirror pyramids hiding underneath the desert, which will complete these shapes to make perfectly symmetrical octahedrons. Sometimes, in the shimmer of the desert heat, 
You can almost see these shapes. It's the hint of symmetry hidden inside these shapes that makes them so impressive for a mathematician. The pyramids are just a little short to create these perfect shapes. But some have suggested that another important mathematical concept might be hidden inside the proportions of the Great Pyramid. His greatest achievements were as a chronicler of mathematics. Around 300 BC, he wrote the most important textbook of all time, The Elements. In The Elements, we find the culmination of the mathematical revolution which had taken place in Greece. It's built on a series of mathematical assumptions called axioms. For example, a line can be drawn between any two points. From these axioms, logical deductions are made and mathematical theorems established. The elements contains formulas for calculating the volumes of cones and cylinders, proofs about geometric series, perfect numbers and primes. The climax of the elements is a proof that there are only five platonic solids. For me, this last theorem captures the power of mathematics. It's one thing to build five symmetrical solids, quite another to come up with a watertight logical argument for why there can't be a sixth. The elements unfold like a wonderful logical mystery novel. But this is a story which transcends time. Scientific theories get knocked down from one generation to the next. But the theorems in the elements are as true today as they were 2,000...